So today we're trying out a tool called Eleven Labs. Now, if you haven't heard of Eleven Labs, they're claiming to be the most realistic text to speech and voice cloning software. Now that is a huge, huge statement. And with that huge statement and with those huge claims, it has to be backed up. And so we're going to do exactly that using this wall of text. Now, let's see, starting off with the better preset, we've got a whole host of preset presets. Well, they're basically presets, yeah, presets that we can select from. And we're going to see what happens. Hey, this is Eleven Labs. This is actually an AI speaking, but you probably won't be able to tell the difference. That's how mad this is. Hey, this is Eleven Labs. This is actually an AI speaking, but you probably won't be able to tell the difference. That's how mad this is. Wow, his emphasis there on the word mad. That's how mad this is. Like, that, that was incredible. That was incredible. But whereas with Bella, that's how mad it is. Like, not as impressive. And now we're going to end on... <laughs> Holy guacamole. This must be the best joke I've ever heard, Richard. Absolutely sublime. So funny. No, this is, this is too scary. This is like... Are we, are we literally going to have a future? Like, hear me out. Are we literally going to have a future where we're consuming media that is entirely made by AI without us even knowing? Like, for instance, this is a thought experiment. So imagine if YouTube, yeah, literally started to promote creators that were AI based and we couldn't freaking tell the difference. We couldn't freaking tell the difference right, between the human that's showing up on video and an AI that shows up on video. Because if you think about it, they're pretty much one in the same, like, is what we're looking at on the screen when someone's speaking to us in video form, is that even real? Is what you're looking at of me right now even real, right? Could be fake, could be an AI, you don't know. And I think we won't be able to actually tell in a few years whether that is the case or not. So this is really quite fascinating. So that's the storytelling aspect. Now we're going to get into the news article aspect. Editor's picks. The biggest opportunity in generative AI is language, not images. The buzz around generative AI today is deafening. Generative AI refers to artificial intelligence that can generate novel content rather than simply analyzing or acting on existing data. No topic in the world of technology is attracting more attention and hype right now. The white-hot epicenter of today's generative AI craze has been text to I'm blown away. I'm blown away by that, guys. Um, yeah, I think all of the news that we consume in the future all of the entertainers, celebrities, everything. I mean, you get VTubers knocking about nowadays, right? VTubers basically, for those of you who don't know, it means virtual YouTubers. So these are like anime looking fellas and, you know, and like girls. And they're virtual in nature, meaning that they're drawn in the style of anime or whatever style, you know, you prefer, you fancy. And they speak like humans, right? But the thing is, we're getting used and accustomed to people that are essentially representations of people, but they're not actually people. They're artistic, I guess, representations of people. So if we're getting used to that right now, just think how crazy it's gonna be in the next 10 years, right? So now last one, let's get into the audiobooks and then we'll end it there. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Chapter one. In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice that I've been turning over in my mind ever since. It sounds like he could be ring it, reading like a Stephen King novel or something. It's incredible. <laughs> this, is, this is mad. Yeah, let me know what you think, guys, below. How close as a percent do you think it is in terms of being a human voice? 70, 80, 90, 100%, you can't actually tell the difference, 100%, what, what do you think? And if you like more of these videos, you want me to cover more tools, feel free to put them down in the comments down below as suggestions, and I'll do my best to look at them in due course. And yeah, until next time, I've been Vey, and speak to you soon. See you soon. <laughs> Peace.